There are more than 4,600 islands off the coast of Maine, but in the hearts of many, not one comes anywhere close to Monhegan. Even if they come one time, Monhegan. Oh, I loved Monhegan. Monhegan sits about 10 miles offshore, a granite gumdrop in the Gulf of Maine, topped by balsam and spruce, sprinkled with wild lupin, one square mile of concentrated enchantment. It's a spectacular island. With its dramatic cliffs, among the highest on the Atlantic seaboard, Monhegan has proved irresistible to artists since the 1800s. It's an allure that has not diminished with time. The only drawback to me about Monhegan is that it has too many other lovers other than me. They're like mushrooms around here every place I look. Perhaps Monhegan's most notable resident, artist Jamie Wyeth, son of celebrated painter Andrew Wyeth, grandson of famed illustrator N.C. Wyeth. As a very young child, I would look out from where my family lived, Cushing, you could just make out Monhegan in the distance. I mean, to me, to be far out at sea and away from everything was just my idea of uh, the best. Wyeth has painted everything from pigs to presidents, but he returns time and again to the rich simplicities of Monhegan, the drama of its landscape, the pragmatic poetry of its houses, and the dignity of those who live here, human or not. But Wyeth's close observation of nature often makes room for a puckish magic in Moonlight Voyeur, his old friend Andy Warhol makes a spectral appearance on the rocks of Monhegan's Lobster Cove. No, he never came to Monhegan. It's too bad because he come to my farm a lot. That was the city. He was a man of many contrasts. Why this home is a Monhegan icon, standing sentinel over Lobster Cove. Painter Rockwell Kent, one of Wyeth's idols, built the house for his mother. When he built it in 1905, all the islanders said, it's going to be blown away in the first Southwestern. And I've had windows blown out, doors blown in, but it's still here, knock on wood. Wyeth splits his time between Maine and a farm in Chad's Ford, Pennsylvania. He also paints in a lighthouse he owns in nearby Tenants Harbor on the mainland, but the house on Lobster Cove gives him an unobstructed front row seat to nature at its fiercest and most grand. To be here in a storm is really unbelievable because the sea goes over top of the house and the whole house just shakes because it's built on this ledge and uh, I just love it. Monhegan's dramatic cliffs rising 160 feet straight up out of the Atlantic, unquestionably the island's high point. Well, I've seen people stand here for hours and just watch the ocean. It's very calming. In fact, three quarters of Monhegan is protected land, the vision of one man, Ted Edison. Ted Edison was the youngest child of Thomas Alva Edison. He came out here in 1908 as a 10-year-old with his mother. Margot Sullivan is with the Monhegan Associates, the nonprofit that oversees the island's wildlands. She says Edison, a lifelong summer visitor, was alarmed at plans to develop the backside of the island piece by piece. He bought up parcels, forming one of the first land trusts in Maine. I cannot imagine what this would be like if Ted had not done this. Where we're standing would have been a development. It was mapped out in streets and house lots all the way out here to Burnt Head, all the way to Whitehead. And when I look at that map, I cannot visualize houses coming all the way out here to this beautiful ocean. I, I cannot imagine it. Today, few of the hikers on these cliffs know how close this rugged land came to being built up and paved over. While the great scientific advances of Thomas Edison may have made the world a brighter place, out of his shadows came a son whose own impressive legacy stopped progress in its tracks. He had vision, he had, um, what's the word, determination. Once he got this in his mind to do it, he was focused forever. 
The Farnsworth Museum in Rockland, Maine is currently showing two exhibitions connected to Jamie Wyeth. One centers around a series of 11 paintings capturing scenes on Mohegan Island. The other is a tribute to Wyeth's wife, Phyllis, who died earlier this year. The couple were married for 50 years. Call it Mohegan multitasking. Matt Weber is a lobsterman, brewer, and the man with the badge.